Hi everyone, nice to see you on my channel today. The guys from Upa asked me if I would like to test their laser level. And I wasn't expecting this laser to come with so much out of the box. So I took all that for a spin and found some features that really stood out. In this video I walk you through what the laser offers, how it performs in real world situations and if it is worth your attention or not. So, all right, I structured the video a little bit so that it's easier for you to follow. So at first we have a look inside of the box and it's not only the features of the laser but all the equipment that comes with it and that's a lot and there are very useful things in there. So yeah, this is part one. Part two will be uh, the accuracy test and then we go to some use cases and I found a pretty nice use case for your workshop even. So could be very interesting for you, just stay tuned. Okay, this is how the laser arrived here in a nice sturdy box with foam inlay so nothing is flying around or getting damaged. That's pretty okay and nice. You have two handbooks, one is for the laser and one is for the detector. The uh, German and English parts are flawless, very nice. Let's come to the laser at first with its features. So. The laser has four beams, two horizontal and two vertical. Why two horizontal? You have one very down here at the bottom. That's nice if you want to have something that is very, or if you want to have the beam very shallow above the ground, you're placing that laser on. And the same applies here if you go underneath a, a, yeah, a ceiling and you want to have a beam there. Yes, you can also measure from a beam, but it's not necessary with this one and every measurement can produce a kind of error and errors will sum up. So is it a must have? No, but it is a plus. The full laser part is in a, on a pendulum and is self-leveling. And then there is one feature, uh, a lot of guys yeah, said, oh, I do not need that. But I think this is a nice one. This little display, wait a minute, I switch it on. This little display will show you we can see it. Yeah, we'll show you the the slope or the angle the laser is positioned. So basically, you get an additional level box with this one. Is it necessary? No, but it's nice to have if you want to have um, a, yeah a metal pole somewhere in a, a direction or make tile work in a forty five degree angle. This one is an additional level box. That's very, very nice to have. Okay. Next thing is, oh yeah, here, in here, I already used it. As you can see, there's a rechargeable battery. And if this is not enough, and I never run out of that, and I work for hours with this, uh, you have this kind of holder for AA batteries. So you can extend the runtime just with batteries if you have to. That's also very nice. Then uh, the charger, nothing to complain about. Here is a thing, a metal plate, um, you can screw to any surface and you have this kind of target plate and this is very nice if you have uh, to adjust a big pole or a beam or whatever you can adjust it here and move the pole and you can see the laser line on this green shield, you can see it very nicely so you can position it without uh, you know every time measuring against it, it's just there and tells you where you are. The same applies if you have a shelf and you have to move it uh, with the feet and you, you're screwing down there with both hands, then it's nice as you can see how it moves. Very nice to have. Metal plate for all the magnetic stuff that is in there. I come to that in a minute. And then you have the detector. The detector, yeah, I never thought about a detector, but as I have one here now and I could use it outdoors, the laser is a green laser, so it's better visible for the human eye than a red one. But even then, if you are out there and it's a very bright day, you, um, yeah, you can't see it very good. But this detector will see it. It has a detector here and it shows you where you have to move that part so that you can align it. And you can attach the detector to a pole and with the same dimension so that you always have the same elevation if you go through the garden and make some work there. 
So a very handy, very nice thing that gives you an optical and um, yeah, a sound feedback where you have to go with, with uh, the adjustment. Very nice to have. With other lasers you have to buy that and they are, you know, all the equipment sums up. Very nice, comes with it. And then a thing I never thought about to have one, a remote control for the laser. And I thought, okay, what the hell, what should I do with it? And I had it always on my belt. Why? Because sometimes you are somewhere on the ladder and, and this laser beam starts to blind you. So you can just deactivate the single beams, you can switch it on again. And if you do not want to use the laser for the next five, 10 minutes, you can save battery just by uh, switching off the, the uh, parts here. And if you're there and you need the pulse mode to, for the detector, um, you can switch it on with this as well. Very, very nice and handy. I never thought about that, but if I would not have it now, I would miss it. And then the most genius part of the whole thing, that's this multifunctional bracket. And it's also magnetic. That's kind of an adjustable piece for this laser. The laser has a, a screw underneath here, this normal camera screw. I do not know the thread type, but you can attach it to, to this bracket like this. And the bracket itself has it as well, but you can use, as I told you, or as I showed you, the, the just a piece of metal to, to clamp it on. You have um, a screw hole back here, you can hang it on a screw or you can use this parts with some cable binders and tie it to a pole or wherever you need it. And this one is genius because usually you place your laser on a tripod and then you are yeah, rattling around with this tripod and try to find the right position. And this one you can just place it on a tripod and leave it there and then you can very fine adjust, for example, the height you can go forth and back with the laser, you can go left and right, and you can even turn it in very small, very soft increments. So this is a genius part because it helps you a lot on your job site, so you do not have to position the whole thing again uh, because you're half an inch off. This is a genius part and I really like that part and I more or less had the laser all the time on that. All right, so this is, well, it's all in the pack. Very nice stuff. And as I, well, when I would buy a laser level, I would normally, I would not have thought about these things, but they're in the pack and they work in great. Very nice. The only thing that I, the, really the only thing, and that's <laughs> for all that equipment that could be, a bit approved is the, I have to zoom it in a bit, is this part, this turntable, as you can see if I turn it, it's moving, you see that? Very slightly to the left and right. So this is maybe a millimeter. Um, this is all that I would complain about that. And complaining, you know, that's that's not a tough thing. But I noticed that. So if you if you if you rework this thing, just make it with a little less play in here. But that's it. That's you know, complaining on a very very high level. Fantastic equipment in here. First step of the test is the self-leveling test. So what I did here is I projected a laser line five meters away from the laser, marked the position, then turned the laser around 180 degrees and marked the position of the laser beam again. And I had here a deviation of one millimeters. On 10 meters it's two, but three millimeters are acceptable. So we are well within the range and the tolerance that the laser level should have. Second test is uh, I projected a vertical line and I did the same thing. And what I found out here that I have absolutely the same deviation. So it's half a millimeter on two and a half meters. So that means that the vertical and the horizontal lines are really perpendicular to each other and well within its tolerance. 
So the next test is the test of the level box. So I switch it on without the pendulum and I made this piece of wood directly zero here and I zeroed out my old trusted level box. So and now I move it to that slope over here and see if the readings are the same. So here it's 19.8 and here it is 19.6. So Zero point two degrees off or well, difference between both of them. I think this is pretty good. So you can really trust this level box uh, or this yeah this level uh, and use that for all kinds of work that you might have. The first project with the three D laser level was in our garden. We have. Uh, over 100 year old garden with a wild mix of materials, no 90 degrees, no straight edge and we would like to establish a cleaner look. So my job here was to put concrete tiles on top of this both raised beds. Both raised beds, they do not have the same elevation as it is on a slopey ground and they do not have the same distance from the building. I could establish a horizontal line that defines the height and I could, yeah, with a multifunctional bracket and that's a piece of cake to adjust the laser with that, I could establish a forward edge, a common forward edge. And that was so helpful. So I could measure how much I have to compensate for, what kind of or how thick I have to do the concrete layer to bring the concrete tiles on top. And again, positioning with the multifunctional bracket and with the laser was really, really nice. I had to make a concrete layer on the second race pad to compensate for the elevation. And I did that on a sunny day. So I used the laser detector that works really, really nice. And yeah, just because I was curious, I checked how good this works on a distance. So the way that I'm walking here is 15 meters, so 45 feet, and it worked very, very precise, nothing to complain, good readable, very nice feedback, and I think this is a distance for the common makers that is by far enough. Even as it is a green laser, if you work in daylight, a laser detector really helps you, yeah, at the outdoors. So the package with the laser level and the detector is really good for the outdoors and it worked. All right, for the setup of the laser detector, it's very simple. You just um, set up your laser level, switch it on pulse mode and you turn this one on and then you can adjust and this is where you want to have it. The use case number two is very obvious and logical but I never saw it somewhere on the internet so I thought about what if you have always a straight line on your workbench or always a 90 degree angle. So like measuring stuff would be easier, would be more efficient and it's never in the way. If you're cutting leather or insulation or things like that, it's just there. It never falls from your workbench. It, it, it is never, you know, it's always accurate. And this is where I thought mounting my laser above the workbench and there's this multifunctional bracket that allows you to adjust everything as you like it. You have uh, the remote control so you can switch it on or off. Yeah and this is what I did and it really helped me through four or five projects till now and yeah very handy nice upgrade and it stores your laser away so you have it always there if you like it and you can use it all the time. Very nice I really recommend that as a workshop upgrade. All right, I did 12 different projects with this laser level to get a picture of what this guy can do and what is all about, all the accessories, and I'm pretty happy with that. 
for my understanding with the full package with all the possibilities with this multi-functional bracket with the laser detector it's the all-in-one solution that you yeah you have everything you need if you need a tripod additionally but you can work around easily but you know if i consider picking a laser level now there are two things i want to have first a green line laser level or class 2 laser same power output better visibility so green laser is a must-have in my opinion second thing a laser detector and i would buy it as a pack together because the laser detector works with the frequency of the pulses of the laser so not every detector fits to every laser level i would buy it as a pack if you buy it in three years maybe the detector won't fit to the laser level so buy it as a pack these are the two conditions or the two things i would consider buying one and this upa laser level yeah covers everything it is accurate everything comes with it it's nice storable durable pretty a problem solver again from my side 100 percent recommendation for this one and i hope i could answer every question you might have for a laser level if you have any more questions or yeah recommendations let me know in the comments i will return to you and i hope i see you next time around here guys happy crafting